Hi, I am Jay Clement with Henry Ford Health in Detroit, Michigan, representing the Women Inspired Neighborhood Network Detroit. What inspired you to be a champion in the maternal and child health space? I remember uh, working at the Detroit Health Department when I was very young before I even thought about having children and I was responsible for coming up with policy recommendations based on our FEMA report. And I remember looking at the epidemiologist who was also a, a young woman in her early 20s and, and we had this kind of epiphany that if we wanted babies to survive, then women should be healthy before they become pregnant. And if they aren't healthy before they become pregnant, then while they're pregnant, they should do a lot of the work to help minimize stress, um, get things in order and manage whatever was making them unhealthy before they got pregnant. And it, the thing was, it wasn't rocket science. It seemed easy enough to manage. And as I got older and I decided that I wanted to be a mother and I knew all of this data and I started hearing about people in my own family whose babies were born and then didn't survive and we didn't even talk about it, and that there was no one preparing me for how to be healthy in my pregnancy or how to make sure my baby thrived in its first year, it became more and more important. Um, and the word just kept finding me, so here I am. And what message would you like to share regarding continuing efforts to advocate for black women and changing maternal health standards of care? I have thought about this so much and there are two like really thematic themes that that stick with me. One um, I think we've heard a lot of in a, a lot of different ways and that is sharing power is not losing power, it is growing power. It is our best chance at really speaking truth to power and seeing the pro proliferation of a lot of different types of people coming together the people with lived experience, the people with uh, decision-making, authority, funding, resources, all coming together, we have to share that space. And the other thing is that, you know, we've finally been able to name racism as one of the biggest things impacting the maternal health crisis and the infant health crisis for black people in particular. And so I want people to know that it is a direct disruption of racism to honor black women. It is a direct disruption of racism to invest in lifting up people who are doing the most important work that they possibly can do by creating healthy, thriving families.